Tanse. My name is Monique Gray Smith, and my traditional name is Mystique Washkigos. And I'm joining you today from the beautiful territories of the Lekwungen speaking people, known as the Songhees and Esquimalt, and also the Wasanich people, whose land I have this incredible privilege to wake up on every day to have beautiful greens and shades of yellows and golds and the flowers coming in to have clean water and to raise my children here. That's perhaps one of the greatest gifts of being on these territories that you may know as Victoria. And I am the author of When We Are Kind. Well, that's what I'm talking to you about today. I have other books as well. When We Are Kind was inspired a few years ago. My family and I were on vacation in Phoenix, Arizona. My son was down there for a baseball tournament. And he was on a team with 15 other young 15-year-old boys, young men, who had come from all over Canada to play in this tournament. And what I saw was all these acts of kindness between these young men who didn't know each other before coming together as a team. And as these acts of kindness unfolded, so did their strength as a team. And it really got me thinking about kindness. And I had known some of the neurobiology of kindness, and I really saw it unfold here. As well, when we were on that holiday, you know, my twins at the time, they were 15. And those of you who have raised teenage siblings, you know that they don't always get along and that they are not always kind to each other. But on this holiday, they were. And what I really saw was how, you know, the neurobiology of kindness, that when we are kind to somebody, when we receive an act of kindness, that's why it's so important to be able to receive kindness. Or when we witness kindness between other people, in our brain, our cortisol, which is one of the main stress hormones, goes down. And oxytocin and dopamine goes up, which are all about love. And so when I think about kindness, I think that it is one of the medicines we need right now. It fosters resilience because it allows us to feel connected. And when we feel connected, when we feel part of a family or a community, then we are more resilient. When we feel connected to one human being through an act of kindness or receiving kindness, then we also, it does foster our resilience. And for me, kindness has been important in my life because as a child, I saw lots of kindness in my family. But as I got older, my own wounds from childhood caused me to at times really not be kind and were some of the reasons why I started to drink alcohol at a very young age and, you know, at age 11 and stopped when I was 22. And it was in that healing journey that I found kindness again. And perhaps to myself was one of the greatest places and the place where the most healing happened so that then I could be kind outwards. And in many ways, that's what When We Are Kind fosters. It helps the littlest citizens in our classes, in our preschools, our head starts, in our homes, when we're cozied up with our children reading or our grandchildren or our nieces or nephews or younger cousins that... We learn about the importance of being kind to ourselves, getting a good night's sleep, eating healthy food, about what it's like to be kind to other people, to be kind to the animals, the four-legged, those that fly, those that crawl, those that slither, those that swim, and to be kind to the earth. This book helps children understand all of that. And so I think that kindness is a salve and it's one that we really need right now. And I'll always be grateful to Orca Book Publishers, who's the publisher for this, because one of the things they did was they did this dual language. So it's in English and Dene. And Dene is the language of the illustrator, Nicole Neidhart, who absolutely, through her beautiful illustrations, brings this book, this story, to life. I have the potential to be doing another book with her that I'm looking forward to. I've got a couple books coming out with Orca Book Publishers and some new things on the horizon, both for children and for adults. And all of it, not only with kindness woven in, but this teaching that love is medicine. And I feel like right now our society 
as communities, as families, as individuals, kindness and love are really, really precious.